hello everyone welcome to the channel design engineering today we will talk about what is meant by design factor or the how to consider or the how to decide the design factor for designing of the any structure so first uh, we will we'll look into what exactly is mean by the design factor a design factor is a margin applied to a load for a structural strength to account for uncertainty as the load the structural properties or the both so basically if you see uh, it is on the margin which is applied for designing of any structural loads so the way design factors are were historically applied in oil field casing design was directly to the magnitude of the load so the overall overall if you see the design factor is nothing but a margin which is applied for the any structural by considering the applied load so now let's move to the next so the design factor there are two terms is like one is the analysis and second one is the design so in the analysis term what is the factor of safety that is the design of factor so it is nothing but the failure strength by the applied strength so whatever the failure strength we do have of any material so that we need to consider and then um, we need to consider the whatever the load is going to apply or the stresses apply stresses or the coming stresses on that structural for example that factor of safety that that nothing but this n it is a failure strength by the sigma that is the applied strength while designing uh, what we need to consider is like allowable stress uh, that is nothing equal to failure strength by the design factor so now in this case like uh, allowable stress that is the sigma level is nothing but the failure strength of that particular material divided by the design of factor for example one or two or three and the, there are the different chart different uh, uh, design factors available for the different materials as well as the condition that you can see into the next uh, next uh, into the video so very first thing is factor affecting the design factors so what are the different factors those are affecting to the design factors very first thing is the application so what kind of applications we are applying the design factor then there is an environment uh, factor which is affecting to the design factor then next, third one is the load fourth one is the type of stresses coming on to that structure then sixth one fifth one is the material which kind of materials we are using and then the sixth one is the confidence it is based on the uh, history data or the reliability data which we have so when we talk about the first application so how many will be so for example the structure or that application how many numbers will be produced so based on that uh, that is uh, that design factor is depend then what is the manufacturing method will be used to produce that application then third one is what are the consequences of that failure for example if that structure if that part fails then what is going to happen so is that uh, failure of that part is going to danger to the people or there is a big cost impact for example uh, if the part which fails into the aeroplane and the plane is flying so you can imagine what is the danger to the people for that part failure and then how much is the cost associated with that the next one is the size and weight uh, it is very important of that particular component or that application what is the life of that component of the applications for what which life we have designed that and then justify uh, the design expenses for example how much is the cost we are going to uh, have for that designing of that the second one is environment so what are the different uh, what different temperature ranges that application or that component is going to work uh, what is the exposure to the electrical voltage or the current then uh, how it is exposed to the corrosion or what is the chances of corrosion to that component then is there any noise control or that is that uh, uh, 
uh, noise control is important in that component or that application is that a vibration is important in that application and then will that component or uh, that application is protected by the guard or the housings next loads so the loads like uh, what are the different kind of loads loading conditions are available for example the nature of the loads considering all the mode of the operations like startup shutdown normal operation any forcible overload so that kind of conditions we need to consider then what are the different load characteristics like stat is that a statics or the repeated or the reversed or the fluctuating or the shock or impact kind of load characteristics are going to apply on that applications then variation of the load over the time how that load is going to vary over the period of time then magnitude is that a maximum minimum or the mean load is going to be act on that component now moving to the next is the types of the stresses which are going to uh, impact or going to uh, produce during that application like what kind of stresses is that a direct tension of the component or the application is coming into the corporation is that component is coming into the direct shear uh, is that component into bending or the torsional shear then what kind of applications uh, is going to uh, have that or that uh, stresses are coming on those application like is that a uniaxial is that a biaxial or the triaxial then moving to the next material so what is the material you are going to select for example plastic or steel or cast iron or ductile iron or different kind of materials so what are the that material properties of that material then what is the ultimate strength yield strength and then the endurance strength of that material what are the ductility properties of that material like is that a ductile or is that a brittle then uh, ductile material are basically preferred for the fatigue and shock or the impact load so this is just example which i am just so now the last one is the confidence it is again based on the reliability data or the warranty data what we have so at what confidence factor uh, are we designing our component sector reliability of the data like what kind of loads has been applied on that component material properties stress calculations and how good is the manufacturing quality uh, the how we are controlling the quality of um, the manufacturing of that component then what is kind of handlings or use of the environmental condition affects the safety of that components like during the handling of that component is that a damage is going to happen and then uh, will that damage is going to propagate in terms of the cracks or the failure of that component uh, this is just a typical uh, different factor of uh, design factors what we apply onto the different kind of load and then uh, in which situations we have to apply has been mentioned here so for example these are the these are the four different conditions i have mentioned like for the ductile and the brittle material that is static load dynamic load static load dynamic load and then this is zero to eight is the design factor these are the confidence level the color indicates the confidence level like we are uncertainty that we are not aware what exactly is going to happen or this is the first time we are designing uh, the uh, that component of the system then average like we do have a certain application similar but that is not the exact application which is available into the market or the system and then uh, by considering that we are giving the average uh, we are giving the average factor of safety so if you see here the maximum factor of 50 given into the static load and the dynamic load brittle condition these are specifically related to the safety uh, related parameters and then high the confidence where there is a similar kind of component is already available and we do have a high confidence on that failure of that component so based on that uh, lower factor design factor has to be applied or that has to be assigned so now if we assign any if we add any design factor to design so what exactly is going to happen like the low cost of failure that is the non-safety it is getting uh, when we you, you increase the design factor for example here is a one and you increase that is by two three or four then the cost of the failure high cost of the failure is going to be reduced and then that because the safety is going to be optimized but the cost of that component is going to be increase 
so this is all overall the design factor hope you like the video please like and subscribe our video thank you